guys, let's do this virial equation exercise. Actually, we're talking about the truncated virial equation. Of course, we're not going to use all those terms. We're going to truncate the equation. And essentially, we're going to look for the ideal gas value, the pressure that we will have if we were to use the virial truncated equation, and calculate the error supposing this is the correct one. So let's do it. 2 gram moles of nitrine, which is essentially 2 gram moles of nitrine, it's right here, is placed in a 3 liter tank, that's volume, 3 liter tank or 3 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters at this temperature, which is, I'm going to round out, minus 151 Celsius, which if you convert it to Kelvin, it's about 122 Kelvin. They tell you to calculate the pressure with ideal gas, which is letter A, and then use the truncated equation, which is letter B. Uh huh. Taking the second estimate, okay, okay. And calculate the error. So from tables, I'm going to find out that my eccentric factor, or eccentric factor, is essentially 0 0.04 of that of nitrogen. And my critical values, critical temperature of nitrogen is 126 Kelvin. And my critical pressure is 33.5 atmospheres. So I'm going to do very fast the pressure of an ideal gas. So I'm just going to solve for P. So I got this value here, 2 grammoles of nitrogen. The R I'm going to use is 8.314. So I'm going to use international units, which is cubic meter, pascal, grammole, kelvin. Grammoles and grammoles are going to be cancelled. I'm going to use this volume in cubic meters, so I may cancel cubic meters with cubic meters, and 122 kelvins with kelvin. So essentially, I'm going to get pascals and the number of multiplying here of the product, which is about 676,205 pascals, or if you wanted to show it in kilopascals is about 676 kilopascals. So, that was the ideal gas, very easy. Actually, we got more exercise, you want to check out that. And what else, virial equation, exercise. Okay, we're going to do the truncated equation, which is essentially this one. If you don't know what we're talking about, go to the previous video, you would know what we're doing right here. And the thing here is that I don't have my B value here. Temperature, I have it. Specific volume, I could calculate it. And I will, in fact. And yeah, essentially, we just need to calculate B value, which is here. And for B value, I need my critical temperature and pressure, B0 and B1 with my eccentric factor. So let's do it. Solve for P. First thing first, let's see if we can isolate P, which I think we can do. I got this value here. Yes, we can do it. Now we have everything but B and the volume here. So let's calculate B first. B by definition is this formula number six. We need to find critical te temperature, critical pressure, eccentric value. Then plug in here these numbers here. And as you can see, we will need eventually the reduced temperature. So let me calculate it ASAP, which is here. The actual temperature of the gas, which is 122 Kelvin, compared to the critical temperature, which is 126. It's about 1 or 0.97. Let's call that equation number 3. And equation number 3 will be substituted in equation 1 and 2, which is B0 and B1. OK, let's continue. I just apply them here. Look how uh, the reduced temperature is going to be power to the 1.6 and 4.2. Get B0 here, B1 here. Equations 4 and 5, respectively. Now, I told you this was equation number 6. I'm going to use equation number 4 to substitute here and equation number 5 to substitute here. Eccentric value, I have it, is 0 0.04, which is here. Okay, I have everything. Yeah, actually I have everything. Substitute R, temperature, pressure. I must change these kilopascals. And 
yeah, what, what else? Mm. We find out this B0 right here, okay? So, let's do and continue. Where is, where are we? Where are we, yeah. RT, specific volume, and multiplying this. I got R, yes, I got R. Do I got temperature? Yes. I don't have volume? No. I need to find out. So let me actually find out the volume, which is essentially the volume divided by the amount of moles. I got 3 liters per 2 grammoles. That makes me 1.5. But of course, I don't want to use liters. I want to use cubic meters. So I just change that. And yeah, we're done. Just plug in that volume, uh, specific volume here and here. And you should get something around 625 kilopascals. And okay, we're here. The virial equation versus the ideal equation. Well, you can see 676 kilopascals is a little bit more versus the ideal one. So this is tricky and not that safe. You're going to suppose that you are, if you were to use the ideal gas, you were. To use this material and probably this is I don't know maybe safe to use until 650 kilopascals if not you're going to have a leak maybe a gas leak and so on and you checked out with the real equation that actually you're going to have a 676 kilopascal pressure so you're going to have leak or leakage and this is going to be unsafe so it, it's very important to know the difference between applying ideal gas and real gas loss even though it's only 8% and probably you are going to say that it's not that much. Well, if you were to use this, you will see that it is actually a lot. And we're done with the virial equation, guys. See you in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.